guys, we're Evan and Caitlin, and today we're going to show you three different types of ornaments we made. We tried to choose a few different materials and techniques so that no matter what equipment you have, you should be able to do at least one of these. We'll start with the wood ornaments. You'll need one inch dowels cut into chunks, gold paint, and ornament hooks. So first, we'll show you how we made this geometry right here. We're going to put a mark at the one inch mark and trace that all the way around. In order to get from here to here, we're gonna have to sand this eight times. One per face right here. For the first one, we're gonna remove all of this material. Might make more sense once we do it. <laughs> So the first of the eight facets we're gonna do is complete. We're basically gonna do the same thing over here and then do it again for these two faces. Now this is facet two, and then we're gonna do the same thing with these two facets right here. Just to make it easier for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and put a halfway mark along this face so I don't grind too far. And now the third facet is complete. Last top facet, and then we move to the bottom. So right now, you can see this shape starting to come together, even though this looks like a little stabby, stabby thing. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> so now we just gotta do the exact same thing for the bottom, and then we're on to the next step. Looks <laughs> great. Yeah, now we're just gonna drill a tiny hole, and paint it. So a little quick tip for drilling through materials that are at an angle. What you can do is drill straight on at first to get a little divot. As soon as it's in, then you angle it at the angle you want and continue drilling. All right, pretty smooth. There you go. So we're gonna use gilding paint in a brass color to paint these. And I went ahead and added the ornament hook now so that I'll have something to hold it from while I paint. Now that we've shown you how to do this one. We're gonna not show you how to do the other. <laughs> this one is the exact same, except you're only doing two top and two on the bottom. And this one, we just went a little bit crazy and just kept on adding facets and adding facets. But you can really just experiment and play around with it and make all sorts of unique shapes. <laughs> they might be good, they might be bad. They might but... look like a pickle. That one looks like a pickle. <laughs> on to the next one. Next, we're gonna make the white Corian houses. For this project, we partner with Storyblocks, who has the largest unlimited download library of stock imagery and graphics, audio, video, they're super awesome. What we did is design three little houses that we're gonna use for our ornaments. We uploaded it to their library and we're giving away seven days free of Storyblocks. So if you wanna download our design or browse over 400,000 other graphics and vectors, definitely check them out. There's tons of other stuff you could turn into ornaments too. Snowflakes, reindeer, Santa Claus, other things. Other things. <laughs> There's a ton. Check out the link in our description to get your 7D free trial and get 60% off Marketplace content. We're gonna cut these on the Carvey and you could also use a bandsaw, but the Carvey is really awesome if you wanna make a lot at once to give as gifts or to sell. We used easel to get our design ready for the Carvey. It's actually really easy. We just added our 2D design and it walks you through the steps. It's free, so we'll put a link to it below. You can download our file or browse others and play around with simulating cuts, even if you don't have a machine. We cut the tabs with our jigsaw, sanded them down, and drilled through the top. What do you think? No opinion. <laughs> it looks awesome. This next design was inspired by some ornaments designed by Chip and Joe from Fixer Rubber.
Take a look at these, let's see if I can do them. <laughs> the main thing to keep in mind is that these X's need to be irregularly spaced and draw them on pretty thick. Nice and beefy. Beefy. <laughs> How'd I do? Irregularly spaced? I like how we're running into more issues on this one than any of the other. <laughs> this one's the easiest. Anyone can do it. Oh wait, not me. <laughs> mine, mine are special. We'll put that one in the back. Julie, what do you think about our ornaments? I think that she's indifferent. <laughs> That is a well-decorated Christmas tree. That is jolly. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you'll feel inspired to make some ornaments for your tree this year. See you next time. Bye. Should we not ask a question or mention the after show? <laughs> oh, yeah. You could say, like, leave a comment to win an ornament. Oh, yeah. So we're going to give one of these away. So use hashtag house, hashtag gold, or hashtag silver. Um, I thought you were going to do hashtag balls. <laughs> Each comment will count as an entry. And we'll announce the winner on our Instagram, which is at Evan and Caitlin. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Just kidding. We're not done. We still need to record the Patreon after show. If you want to find out what that is, head over to patreon.com slash Evan and We'll and have a link below. Hope to see you there. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. If you want to hear more about the Carvey, we did an unboxing video, so click here to check it out. There's Christmas stuff out now. <laughs> that looks so creepy.